So guys, I'm back here in Copenhagen. I had a lot of messages from Iraqis after my Iraqi videos. Okay. Hello, hello. Hi, And one of these messages were from Copenhagen. And there was a Iraqi guy who saw my videos, who wanted to invite me to come. I'm really not sure what it is that I'm going to, but I will join him now. He doesn't really know that I will come in half an hour. And I think there are a lot of other Iraqis there. I think it's like a ceremony of some sort, but we'll check it out. So let's go and meet this Iraqi guy here in Copenhagen while I'm here for a few days. So let's go. It's a quiet day in the metro today, but we are off to Nurbu, a place where there usually is a lot of action. Let's see. Okay, we made it to Nurbu. Now a five minutes walk and we'll join the Iraqis. Lots of graffiti here in Nurbu, big part of the place. Paris place. Quite a nice area here in Nurbu. It has really improved a lot in the recent years. And it should be just down here, 300 meters more. Let's see if we can find it. Do you like Nurbu? <laughs> to see us? Yes. There are honestly mixed opinions about Nurbu here in Denmark. I personally like it. I think it's very vibrant and, and cool, but yeah. yeah, yeah. Mixed opinions, definitely. Should be very close now. In the house of love. Maybe it's up there with the huts. That's meditation. Even the containers have a lot of graffiti here. Kind of like the ghetto area in Denmark, but it's cool. I think it's over there. Look over there. I never seen this before. That's beautiful. This is a mosque in Copenhagen, right next to the place where we're gonna in. go in to greet some Iraqis. So guys, now I'm not in Iraq anymore. I'm in Copenhagen, but still I will find some Iraqis in here. We're gonna go in to say hi to them and see what it's like here on a Thursday evening in Nurbo. Let's go. I'm a little bit nervous actually. Are you ready to go in? Mm -hmm. Leti is not a Muslim, but just to pay some respect to the culture. She's dressing like a Muslim today mm -hmm. in Denmark. Your tag? Aiza. So guys, this is Yasser. What are we gonna do today? We are actually gonna, uh, there's a ceremony mm -hmm. uh, for one of the grandsons of uh, Prophet Muhammad. And there should be people and cool. enjoy. Some Iraqis? Iraqis people, yeah. yeah. Actually, and there's Afghani people upstairs. So okay, wow. Difference, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Salaamu it feels just like being in Iraq again, but I'm actually in Copenhagen now. Normally people stand over there and talk. Are you going to hold the speech tonight? Yeah, me and him and some other guys actually. So it's a short uh, ceremony. Not long. How, how is it for you to be an Iraqi in Denmark? It's different. Actually, I feel more Danish just being Iraqi here in Denmark. But yeah, what should I say? Doing the ceremony, enjoying yeah. my life. Yeah. How many years have you been in Denmark? Oh, I came here in 1998, about uh, 24 years, yeah. You just grew up here in Nabo? No, no, I was uh, in Odense. In Odense, yeah. In Fyn. Yeah, I moved here 12, 14 years ago. So you kind of feel like a Danish person? Yeah, yeah. I feel more Danish than Iraqi. 
but still you feel the culture inside you and and the reason we feel that it's to we are keeping this culture actually You're from Bahrain? Yes, I'm from Bahrain, living here in Denmark. And you have been to Iraq many times also? Yes, I guess like five, six, six times into what's called Arba'in. Not each year, but we try. It's not that easy to get the visa and all the stuff. How many years have you lived in Denmark now? Well, almost all my life, since 86. So you feel Danish? Definitely. Yeah. I mean, you cannot avoid having a Danish mentality uh, at many points, uh, thinking in a Danish way. <laughs> So even though you will completely be Danish, I've been lived here for around 35 years. What are some of the traditions you like in Denmark? Probably the way of thinking. If you ask me, I'm going to call them the original Danish traditions or culture. Probably more the culture than the traditions. Because I don't see the Danish people as a society with lots of traditions compared to other societies. But the culture, the, the freedom of thinking, uh, the, 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 the fact that you can ask any question without being stamped. Uh, that's the original Danish culture that I stick to. We just got some tea. Is it good? So, yeah, so how often do you do these? Quite gatherings? often, because we have uh, 12 Imams uh, and Fatima al Zahra and the Prophet Muhammad. So, in total, 14. Mm -hmm. And they both have death ceremony and birth ceremony so in total about 24 ceremony uh, altogether uh, i wanted you to go to iraq in arbaeen to see how yeah uh, next time sure. yeah humanity and people are given all what they have over there mm -hmm. food uh, water juice everything mm -hmm. also medical uh, if you're walked for a long time they give you Massage to your feet, which cost around 500 crown here. Yeah, it's free. For free. Yeah. <laughs> Ani Juan, Mo Andi Plus. Ani Plus? Yeah, Ani. Sit with it. Oh, the Jazz Kids. The Grand Abid. You see the people here, they are so nice in Iraq. The Grand Abid. Abid. And what do you do here in Denmark? I, I'm an engineer mm -hmm. in a company called Svigo. And what do you do here in Denmark? I am a pharmacist. Pharmacist, yeah? Yes, I work in the plastic industry. Mm -hmm. uh, in the Laboratory, laboratory uh, like a uh, QC quality control, uh, making some plans for the medical companies. Excited, yeah. Awesome, guys. This was a little bit of Iraq and Copenhagen. I hope you enjoyed the video and remember to subscribe. <laughs> Shukran, thank you so much, guys. You're welcome. Always. It's many thanks. We speak also Danish. Alle speak Danish. Who's gonna subscribe? Hi. Mean, so you're gonna drive me back? Yeah, of course. No Super. Problem. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Great Iraqi hospitality here. Yeah. Uh, you will love my, my, my car also. Ah, for sure. Yeah. Has your daughter seen my videos? She was afraid, like she they hear, oh, we are like, oh, no problems and everything. Oh. So I have shown sure you your videos that you have been there and happy, no problems. So, so we go there. Yeah, 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 you can listen to take it, like, no problem. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> nice. I watched a lot of your videos. Yes, I, I yeah. love it. Thank you, actually. Great <laughs> videos. Thank Good you so much. pictures show how nice Iraq is, actually. They kind of okay. Now we can travel. We made it to Amara, the last province for Mohammed and I to visit in Iraq. Yeah. So I, I really wanted to thank you for that. Ah, yeah. And no I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you also, go to Iraq in Arbaeen. One week before Arbaeen. Yes. And what's your favorite thing about Denmark? My Denmark? Denmark is my country now. I have lived here in uh, 27 years now. I'm, I'm a Danish. Yes. Yeah, so. Awesome. Uh, Copenhagen. Copenhagen. Yeah, I love Copenhagen. Yeah. We ask a command. Yeah, we, we love Copenhagen. Copenhagen. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah.